I have installed MySQL server here. And now I'm starting the server. Log into the MySQL server. First, let's see what databases are already present. Show databases. Okay, so this is what we have at the moment. Now I want to create a new schema in here for the commit application to connect to. I'll call it comments app. Okay, that's all I want to do in the database. Now on to the application. You have to do only two things in order to connect this application to MySQL Server instead of H2. The first is to add the MySQL connector dependency to the project. So I'll add it here as a runtime only dependency. The next step is to let Spring Boot know that it should connect to MySQL instead of the embedded database. I'm going to do it via an application properties file. What is an application properties file? It is one of many ways that Spring Boot lets you externalize configuration. A Spring Boot application loads properties from an application.properties file placed in the class path. This is where we should provide the database connection URL. In addition to the connection URL, I will also add the Spring JPA Hibernate DDL Auto and set it to create for the first run and then change it to update later. Setting it to create will create the tables for the entities in the database, which makes it easier to get started. But after that, we only need to update if there are any changes to the entities. Then I also need to provide the username and password to the database as well. That's all we have to do. Now I'll run the application and check. The table comment has been created, but there's no data in it yet. I'll send some post requests. Now let's check the table. Okay, it's saving all the records properly. Now that we have moved from H2 to MySQL, let's see if the integration tests are still working. As you would guess, they fail because there's no database connection. So how do we use MySQL and still use H2 for testing purposes? Well, it's really simple. All you have to do is to overwrite the application properties that we just added. For that, I'll add another application properties file inside of SRC integration tests resources. This is just a blank file. You don't have to have anything in here. And this file will override the one we added earlier. You can find out more about the precedence in the documentation. So now let's run the integration tests to make sure they work. Great, that's working as expected.